Michael Schumacher could become world champion today. Seven months of intense competition right across the globe could be settled at Suzuka, Japan over the next couple of hours. Let's get the thoughts of Martin Brundle on the grid. Hi, Martin. Hi, Jim. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the grid. Right, so what do you want to know? Well, this morning, I watched three Ferrari practice starts, one from Barrichello, two from Michael Schumacher. Down here, there's a zone here at the end of the pit line where they're allowed to make their practice starts nowhere else. They were appalling. They were really snatchy. I'm sure they've had to adjust the uh, electronic clutch modulation since the warm-up this morning. They must get off the line. Michael Schumacher, I can see, just disappearing over the, uh, over the wall there or uh, his normal necessary things on the grid. Let me show you down here at the Ferrari. I wonder if we can inter interrupt with Ross Bourne momentarily. I think, uh, any chance, Ross? Critical day. Are you confident? Um, well, we've had a couple of good races, the last two races. Uh, car's working well. Michael seems in good form, so, but, uh, quote a cliche, anything could happen. So. Absolutely. Uh, I hear there could be 30% chance of rain at 3 o'clock-ish. Is that your idea, too? Yeah, the forecast for us aren't as good here, so but we're hearing the same that uh, there could be rain during the race. Now I watched three practice starts, two, one from Rubens, two from Michael, down at the end of the pit lane here this morning. They didn't look particularly good. Are you comfortable with them? Uh, we've made a few adjustments. Okay, I thought you made them. Thanks for talking to us. <laughs> well, it was pretty much as I expected. Let's wander across and uh, have a look. I don't know. Hackenham was not on the grid when you threw down to me from the studio. And uh, I don't think he's back on the grid yet. So let me just take you through what I think might happen down here. Mika Hakkinen has been making some superb practice starts. And remember, twice on this side of the grid in the last two years, he's just catapulted off. And Michael Schumacher is all too aware of that. Who else can come into play? Well, Tony and Jim have been talking about, will Barrichello over there be able to get in the action? Will they start him light so he can mess around? Will they start Coulthard light? But this new unsportsmanlike behaviour flag that they want to wave, I think also applies to other people on this grid. For example, Ralph Schumacher is just over there, Michael's brother. Can he get in on the action? But he drives for Williams. Williams are very close to McLaren. There are two other Ferrari engine cars out there that can come into play. Plus, of course, the Prost have Ferrari engines next year, and I think the organizers the FIA especially are concerned that will these other cars come into play we have seen the Minardis uh, playing a few games it appears when they're being lapped so uh, that is why the flag is uh, unless if we can get one quick word with Mika Hakkinen we got literally 10 or 15 seconds left I don't think there's much chance but at least we can show you that he looks extremely cool and calm Mika everything okay at the moment yes OK, I've spoken to you the last two years on this very piece of tarmac. You went on to win the race. You're going to do the same today? Yes, that's, that's the plan. But, you know, it's going to be quite difficult at the moment. You know, you can see the conditions are very different and the wind is changing all the time, direction. So I think the start's going to be very difficult. And you haven't used these new um, intermediates. Nobody's used them. You're right. OK, good luck, mate. Back to you in the studio. Well done there, Martin.